Well, this is where they, all the carnies, all in the morning, they come eat their breakfast, drink coffee, uh, get the night garbage talking about what happened the night before. If you want the skinny on what's going on behind the scenes at Coleman Brothers Carnival, just talk to the man who runs this Midway Hangout. Uh, Al and BT with Al's Concessions, they have a uh, grab joint, uh, sausage steak and all that stuff. Al is not about to share the nitty gritty of the show gossip, but he hears a lot of it. Fun to sit here and listen to him because you, you learn a lot of stuff from him. <laughs> I'll tell you, with these, uh, with these ride jacks, uh, it all depends on what they did the night before. But there is a lot of different personalities, a lot of arguing, but overall they all work together, they eat together, and they get along pretty good, but you do have a little squabbles now and then. On each lot along the Coleman Brothers route in Connecticut and New York, Al prepares his stand while workers set up rides, games, and other attractions. And after putting in hard nights and days assembling the tons of steel and miles of cable, the crews head for the Carnival Diner. I cook breakfast in the morning for employees. Uh, a couple of days a week, I do a little lunch special for them. Breakfast, they can, uh, just like a regular diner, I have everything you want. Omelets, French toast, pancake, bacon, sausage, ham, eggs anyway. It gets, it gets them going, hopefully. Then they gather here at uh, before they go to work, a good hour before they go to work. Have coffee, drink, burgers, whatever, whatever they want. And then what do the customers ask for? Well, I got a you know, variety of stuff here. I mean, I sell a lot of sausage, a lot of steak. Uh, they really, you know, uh, the clientele around here, the people around here, they go for the chili dogs real good, uh, cheese dog. Tell me about the food that you go through in a week. Well, in a, in a modern time, I'll probably go through four 18-pack eggs. I go through, you know, uh, uh, 15, 20-pound box of sausage, uh, breakfast sausage and bacon. Uh, you know, in the morning, uh, it, it varies on the on the nighttime when you're doing your stuff for regular crew. I've got uh, I've got some fares. I'll do four or five hundred pounds of sausage in a week. Uh, out here in the springtime, you might see 100, 150 pounds some spots. It's it's a difference in crowd. You don't have as many people in the spring as you do with your fair season. Why did you get into this business? I had an injury at the job I was working, uh, and I started working with a guy that had one of these joints, and after a year working with him, I brought him out. So how long have you been doing this? Sir? Uh, since 1990. A quarter of a century with Coleman Brothers Show. We have a little pride in what we do. My personal thing is I love to see the guys fed. I like to you know, make sure they eat. I like to see them happy. You get the uh, experience ride guy. They they have a tough job, especially with greenhorns. But it's experienced guys that keep the show moving. And then you do have like uh, like you say the greenhorns just learning the business, and uh, it's a little tough at times with them. But we get through it. Pick a pen, we get through it. So uh, tell me about your inspection today. What they were looking for? The first impression when a health person comes is when they first walk up to your joint. The first impression with them is a big thing. And you, know, you keep a clean joint, what have you. And, you know, all sanitary things is a big thing with the health department. They keep the, uh, not only employees, but the regular people safe. My grills are original grills, 25, 26 years old. And uh, I have a lot of health people come in to me and say, I'm going to take you down to some of my restaurants and show them how to clean a grill. It's nothing special. I just use grill brick grease and uh, little elbow grease. That's all. They're, uh, they're, the girls make you money. You got to take care of them. What do you get out of doing this? I get the satisfaction out of it. I love being out there. I'm very proud of being part of the Coleman Brothers show. Any spot I go to, I get a lot of a lot of people come to me every year. I mean, if you don't have that, you're not going to survive. You have to have your, you know people coming back to you. From Al's concessions on Coleman Brothers Carnival, I'm Lane Talbert. Bon appetit.